That's the brand new single on Capitol Records from Wasp. It's called Scream Until You Like It. And it's also the theme to the brand new movie called Ghoulies 2, which should be out later in the year. Just prior to Wasp's appearance at Donington, I met up with vocalist and founder member Blackie Lawless and asked him, first of all, since we last met in November 86, what the band had been up to. We went back to America and we were hustling inside the electric circus there doing our used shoe salesman impersonation. And uh, after we finished the tour, well, the last three nights of the U.S. tour, we recorded the live album. The live album's called Live in the Raw. Uh, it's got 12 tracks on it three of which are brand new. One of them is a studio track, which is the one you just heard from the new Ghoulies movie, Scream Until You Like It. And there's two tracks on there that were recorded the last three nights of the tour that have not been heard yet before. They're more akin to what we did on the first album. And to me, I think it's two of the better things we've ever done. Without doubt, Manimal has got to be one of the best tracks on there. That's I think Manimal is really good. I tell you, I think... Uh, uh, harder, faster is better than Manimal, though. My personal taste, it's a little bit more up-tempo, but I think the, the reason I like them both is because, like I said, they're more reminiscent of what we had done on the first album, which, from both musically and visually, I think we've come full cycle to back where we were in the beginning. I mean, I think the band's more comfortable with what we did in the beginning, visually and musically, so that's you know evidence of what you'll hear with these new tracks and especially with a new album when we go back to america after this show we start working on the next studio album which should be out in the fall of 88. i love the dedication to the start of harder faster dedicate it to the washington wise the PMRC. pmrc i'll tell you there's a movement going on back in america that's scary to say the least and unless people sit up and realize what's going on there uh censorship is a disease that will become all-consuming. It's coming stronger and stronger all the time, isn't it now? Well, when you've got the man whose wife is the head of the PMRC, he's running for the Democratic candidacy for the presidential nomination, yes, that indeed becomes enormously frightening. You've got so much extra publicity out of it, though, as well, haven't you? Yeah, we did, but I'll, I'll be very honest with you, from the bottom of my heart, that's publicity I could do without. I mean, if WASP have to revert to getting publicity from women like that, then we should hang it up. Uh, the world in general does not need this kind of neo-Nazism tactic where people will believe the big lie before they will the little one. And that's exactly what this is all about. Bottom line, though, is if the kids want to come and see the show, they'll come and see it anyway. So. Well, that's true, but the problem is, is that these people start to put pressure on local civic groups which in turn will put pressure on local promoters to keep bands out of certain areas. To this day, WASP have yet to play on Las Vegas soil. Now here's uh, the city, which I deem as being the Sodom and Gomorrah of the Western Hemisphere, uh, where a 12-year-old can buy a hooker on the street if he's got the money, but yet they won't, wa won't let WASP come in to do a show. Because we represent the new evil or whatever. I mean, I'm tired of these people talking. I'm gonna shut them all up. You know I mean? They go around and call me Antichrist, you know, like, things like that, you know, we're going to sue the living hell out of these people over this book that she's just written. Uh, Tipper Gore just wrote a book called Raising PG Kids in an X-Rated Society, where they reprinted our lyrics without permission. They changed the lyrics, which makes me ask, if the lyrics are so bad to begin with, why are they changing the lyrics? They reprinted the cover sleeve of the single Animal without permission, so all these things we will sue them over, uh, and we will give them one of two choices of what they can and cannot do. We're going to sue them for $50,000 to be donated if we win to a charity of our choosing, which definitely will not be the Albert Gore for President campaign. I can promise you that. Or the one that I prefer the most is for her to hand me or give me a handwritten apology on nationwide television. Those are the two options. What do you think she'll go for? Uh, I think they're going to go for a, a long, drawn-out court case is what they're going to go for but uh, eventually it will come to a head. And even if nothing ever happens by, at least it will raise public awareness because this is not just WASP we're talking about right now. Um, I've got to a point right now where I'm starting to maybe feel like a spokesman about this because I don't think another, enough other acts are taking these people serious enough. If this man gets in the White House, there's gonna be big problems. And with the demise of Gary Hart in America as a Democratic hopeful, and with the Iran-Contra situation going on in America, no one's going to touch a Republican with a 10-foot pole. If Albert Gore gets a Democratic nomination, he's the next president of the United States, hands down. So it's looking pretty bad then, right? It's very scary.
Very scary. Let's talk about the good things now. You're here at Donington for the first time. Not the first time yourself, but your first time on stage. Yes. What about the live set this afternoon? The weather, unfortunately, is not behind us, but there's loads of people no, out there. No, it's over the top of us right now, and it's <laughs> coming down quite profusely. Um, we're going to go out and, you know, you got to hand it to these people out here. I mean, this is beyond dedication. i got to tell you, in America, this wouldn't be happening right now. They would have called this already, and the people would have gone home. Uh, this is an indeed an unusual situation, and I don't believe that the reason this is happening is because these people have already paid their money. I think it's just blind dedication. What about the live numbers? Are you going to be doing the uh, couple of ni live numbers off the new live album? Well, it will be largely the live album. The only new one that we will do is Harder Faster. And uh, we'll be doing the infamous Rack out there this afternoon. And the Rack will take place in the new song Harder Faster. Blackie, thanks for sparing your time. All the best for the show this afternoon. Thanks and, so much. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the new tour. Absolutely. Later on. We'll be here. Bye-bye. That's Wasp's Blackie Lawless talking frankly about his views on the PMRC and coming up next, some thrash metal from Anthrax.